Hi, this is Ross from Visai. This video focuses in on the attendant time report, uh, which is part of Capacity Manager. So Capacity Manager reports detail attendant time report. Now this report focuses in on the time-based metrics for the attendant pool. Uh, it runs hand in hand with the attendant calls report, which focuses in on the, the number of calls, abandoned calls, held calls, so forth and then also the attendant position report, which is the uh, individual attendant performance. So these top two reports are to do with the attendant pool, so collectively, uh, and this one here is to do with the individual attendant themselves. So this video focuses in on the time report. Uh, there's other video tutorials related to the other two reports. So I run that now. Um, we will focus in on uh, just one day. Uh, we'll use the 19th uh, of April, which is today, and I'll run that report, and that will provide us with performance to date. So it's uh, just a little after 4.30 p.m. here as I make this video, so we're going to see a partial day's uh, worth of metrics, uh, but it'll be enough to give us a good idea of, uh, of the sort of things we can see. Now, important things with this report is there are two uh, vertical axes. Uh, on the left hand side we have CCSs or hundreds of call seconds. Uh, very similar figure to Erlang's. It's used, it's made to measure uh, telephony traffic primarily. Uh, on the right hand side we have another axis over here, another axis uh, that measures seconds. And key to understanding this report in this format is that the lines go across to the right hand side. Uh, they're to do with time. And you can see here the orange and blue have got seconds after them in brackets, so they go across to the right hand side. Uh, and the other metrics across here uh, that have CCSs on them, uh, they're relating to the um, bar charts here, and they go across to the left hand side to the left axis, so measured in, uh, in CCSs. And again, you can see that in brackets. So focusing in now a little closer on the legend, uh, we can see the available time in CCSs for the operator pool or the attendant pool and their talk time also in CCSs. So it's telling us how long uh, they're available to take calls, how long we're talking for once they uh, answer those calls. Uh, now we've got a green here which is showing the, the held time, so the amount of time that calls are staying on, health, on hold. And we can see there that's a very brief period of time. So. We're looking around zero, perhaps peaking at uh, two seconds there during the day. So the operators are, are very quickly dealing with these calls, transferring them through. Uh, the abandoned time here, uh, the orange graph here, so you can see we've got a uh, very low abandonment rate. In fact, we've only had abandoned calls during that 9 to 10 a.m. reporting period. And the callers were waiting uh, you know, quite a long period of time there maybe 25 seconds before they abandoned, uh, probably just sitting there listening to ring back. Uh, but in, uh, when we look at the, the uh, attendant calls report, we're able to see that the, the uh, values of the number of calls in behind there as well. Uh, finally, looking at the blue line there, the average speed of answer, uh, we can see that uh, in the eight o'clock time period, it was a little slow, it's around uh, 27 seconds. But for the vast, vast majority of the day, that has been sitting around the sort of six second mark on average through here, uh, which is which is more like you want to see. So when the abandon, when the answer time gets high high here, you're going to get abandoned calls, which we're seeing there in the orange. So that seems to make sense. So these reports uh, can be exported as uh, CSV if you want to get that into Excel and and uh, and map that out maybe slightly differently. Uh, and also down the bottom of my screen here, we can schedule these reports. So you want to set up a schedule for reports to be delivered via email to the uh, attendant manager. Uh, they can get these reports regularly delivered to them and, uh, and keep an eye on that and uh, track that resource and make sure they're appropriately resourced for the, for the demand that's coming in. So I hope, uh, hope you find this report uh, helpful. And as usual, any suggestions, comments, feedback, uh, do please let us know uh, at support at Versailles.com. Cheers and thanks for your time.